Welcome back to the Comic Book Savant YouTube channel. I'm your host, James Harris. This episode, I wanted to do something a little bit different and have a, uh, a discussion with you guys. Um, it's been a lot of stuff going around the past few weeks, or about, about a month or so now, about DC Universe. I've um, had my thoughts and did reviews and had my thoughts and opinions about DC Universe. I've done a few videos here on the channel in relation to the service. Production abruptly ended on Swamp Thing and a lot of um, rumors or a lot of different news stories start circulating around like, is this the end of DC Universe? Are they in trouble? DC Universe service, uh, you know, on its last legs? Is it, you know, failing, flailing, all these kind of things. And I've had my, my, my thoughts and my opinions, my likes and my dislikes about DC Universe. But all in all, I have to say it is a stable service. So I took time to just really gather my thoughts. Um, I've uh, signed up back for the service over, I think about a month and a half or so ago. So right before actually all this came out. So I just went back to re-examine the service um, to try to check out some of the new content that's on the service as well. And I feel personally that the service is alive and well. There is some definitely some hiccups along the way. Um, a similar thing happened when uh, towards the in the production for uh the um, Titans show that it was originally supposed to be, I think, 13 episodes. It ended at 12. Um, they, you know, said for creative reasons, which was the same reason that they said that the um, episodes were shortened for Swamp Thing. I think it, they, um, it was ordered for 13 episodes. They ended, they stopped production after around episode 10. Um, they said for creative choices or changes. Um, I don't think it hampered titans at all and they've went on to produce doom patrol that went off without a hitch um you know i think more so than anything more so than um they be them being in trouble i feel like they have a lot of content that they have um in the works and that they're planning on rolling out and i think it's a cost related thing that with something like swamp thing they're doing a lot of practical effects but then there's some special effects that you kind of have to weave in there with that character and that world that you're creating that maybe it was just more cost effective than them to cut the order than to skimp on the quality of the show um, because good or bad, I felt like Titans, you know, people have their feelings about it. I thoroughly enjoyed Titans as a show. I, I felt like them cutting the one episode and left it on a cliffhanger, you know, having me, you know, kind of really geared up for season two when that's coming in the fall. And um, I didn't feel like it overall hurt the quality of the show. And I felt like each episode maintained a particular level of, of quality and that they have room to improve on in future seasons. Was it like the like Game of Thrones quality of production? No, but they're just starting out and DC and Warner Brothers are trying to find their way with these shows. So I feel like maybe it's for the best and have to wait and see. But at this time, it was a weird week when all this, um, when all these things came out in the media, because that same week, the, um, they had the, um, Disney and Bob Iger had the whole presentation rolling out, um, the marketers call that was, um, that was released out where they were showing uh disney plus giving the release date showing what what shows are going to be coming at launch and i think it shook up a lot of things in the industry so this coupled with that announcement people were like are they backtracking because of um because of disney plus that's going to be a big um part a big competitor for them um and there's a lot of competitors on there you know, out right now for online streaming service. And I think that's what makes DC Universe such a unique brand because they do have original content. They do have things on the channel like their um, animated films or direct to DVD releases that are there on the service. Then you have access to older television shows and cartoons and animation. Uh, plus you have comics. So it's a hybrid service because it's just not 
uh, video content that you have accessible through the service. You you know it's it's a it's a little bit different than what a Netflix is or even what a Disney Plus is going to be because at this point, yes, it has Marvel on there, but it will just be Marvel video content. There is they're not going to have any connection as of yet that they've announced on any level that it's going to have any um, tie in to the comics outside of the Marvel Channel. So you won't be able to read comics through that service like you can through DC universe and i think that's what will keep them you know keep them relative you know i've had my um thoughts about the price point for um for dc universe and i said you know i felt like it could have been a little bit cheaper um because they didn't have a bunch of content lined up at the beginning but again i'm supportive of it because it's something different and i would like to see more services like this to come in the future i would like to see a disney plus um add comics to you know to their service um you know at some point that it ties into the bigger uh you know the bigger ecosystem of you know their they own marvel comics they have marvel studios linked through um, Disney Plus, but I think DC Universe is going to be just fine. Um, like I said, I resubscribe to the service because again, I want it to support it. If you want things positive, things to happen in the industry, we have to support these things before they go away, and we don't have that option at all. Um, and like I said, I think it's a unique service. I've enjoyed all the content that I've watched on it. Um, could it be six ninety nine? You know. Uh, you know, six ninety nine instead of um, seven ninety nine a month, or even five ninety nine. That remains to be seen. But I think they're they're slowly but surely building their content up. So again, I don't think this spells doom for them. Yes, other services on the horizon, like you know, um, Apple TV Plus is going to be coming. Um, you know, it's, it's so many different online streaming services, but this is one totally geared, I feel, more so to the comics fan. And Disney Plus will offer a counterpoint because, you know, we all are not going to deny the Marvel movies are are dominating Hollywood at this point. But again, it shouldn't take anything away just because they're having some of these, you know, missteps or certain changes are happening behind the scenes. Crazy things happen all the time behind the scenes and uh, and TV production as well and film production. We've seen it with Marvel. We've seen it with DC. We've seen uh, Warner Brothers. We've seen it with even um, Lucasfilm and Star Wars that a lot of changes and and reshoots and all these kind of things happen. I just feel like it's a part of production. I don't feel like it'll hurt the overall um, product. I've heard that the people that have seen previews a swamp thing. They had an event like the week before that all this news came down. Everyone said it looked phenomenal. They've done the teaser trailers for Swamp Thing. It looks great. So, you know, if anything they cut it, they did it for, you know, for a good creative reason or production reason as far as production costs are concerned. So I don't think it's anything um too much that we'll have to worry about. Time will ultimately tell the tale with this. But I feel like the service is going strong. We, you know, soon Young Justice will be coming back for the second half of the season. Um, then the fall is rolling out. Then we have Titan season two. They've made some great announcements as far as uh, cast that they're bringing on um, and different things like that. So, again, I feel like the service is going through growing pains, which any new service like this, because this is something totally new that's being put out there on the market. They're going to have their ups and downs and they have to find their way. Netflix did it over the years. You know, people don't realize that Netflix was have been around for what over about 20 years now, just about. Um, so they've had ups and downs and growing pains, HBO, all these other channels and services, ESPN, they all have growing pains. So at this, we have to stick in there and bear with it and not just jump into all the fear mongering like, oh, the shows, you know, the series and services on its last leg, they're going to shut it down and all that. Um, you know, and the Warner Brothers came back and said subscriptions are up. Things are going well for the service. So we have to take them at face value at this point. Now, if they start canceling shows all 
together and content starts easing up on the service, then we have something to worry about. But until then, I think we're in good shape being subscribers to the DC Universe service. But that's just my thoughts. I wanted to kind of uh, put that out there. I saw a lot of, you know, stories floating around about it. And I just wanted to give my thoughts. And I want to hear what you guys think about, you know, all these different things that's been going on. And when it um, deals with DC Universe Online and the competition that they might get from a service like Disney Plus is going to be launching um you know, in what, about six months or so in November. Um, so let me guys know down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you click the notifications bell. Uh, give it a smash the like button. Share the content if you know anyone that might enjoy the video. Um, and again, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, I read all the comments and I try to respond to them as quickly as possible. We're building a great community here, the Savant Society, as we've dubbed the name for uh, for the community here. So I welcome you to become a part of it. Also, uh, if you like the content and you've been watching the videos and you're already subscribed, consider becoming a patron to help support the channel. Um, I will have links down below in the uh, video description on links to the Patreon as well as links to the um, the Comic Books of Art website. Um, so that's all I have for you guys for this episode. I look forward from hearing uh, hearing from you down in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys have a good week, and I will see you soon. Take care.